Hey, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about different types of bonds. We have two major types of bonds that we're going to talk about today. And we have ionic bonds and covalent bonds. And in order to figure out what is an ionic bond and what is a covalent bond, we have to look at the electronegativity values of the elements. So right now, get out your reference tables and I'll wait. You got your reference table? Good. Now, you're going to look, open up your reference table to table S, and you're going to look at the electronegativity values, which is this column right here. Now, we're going to choose a few different examples of compounds that you may or may not see, and you have to determine whether they are ionic or covalent. So, generally speaking, an ionic compound is something where the electronegativity Electronegativity difference is greater than 2.0. So you're going to look at the two different elements. For example, we're going to choose HF, or hydrogen fluoride. This is how it is named, hydrogen fluoride. You just take the second compound, and you drop the letter ending, and you change it to IDE. So hydrogen fluoride. We're going to check it out. I'm going to look at the electronegativity values for hydrogen. Hydrogen is 2.2 and fluorine is 4.0. That difference is 1.8. Since it is less than 2.0, this bond is considered covalent. Now we're going to check out another one. We're going to check out sodium fluoride. Remember, I, D, E, the ending. So we look at sodium's, uh, sodium's electronegativity value, and it is 0 0.9. And again, fluorine is 4.0, with a difference of 3.1. This bond because it is greater than 2.0, it's considered to be ionic. Another rule of thumb that you could use is ionic compounds typically include metals and non-metals. That is a good rule of thumb, but you always want to check the difference in electronegativity. Now, regarding the electrons, in an ionic bond, the electrons are transferred, while in a covalent bond, the electrons are shared. And we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. Thank you.